speaking of 2021s and turning over a new leaf, Houston Rockets, happy with where they're at in 2021 now that James Harden is out, as weird as that sounds, and all start leaving your team. If you're front office in Houston, are you happy that this is getting done and taken care of or no? Are you sick? Well, I mean, taking a step back from it, James Harden just got traded for like literally 10,000 picks. Levert is in Indiana now, I think, and Victor Oladipo is now in Houston. I mean, it was so bad the last few days specifically. Like Harden's like 30 pounds overweight. It looks like he and like him and John Wall can't even speak to each other, be like look at each other without fighting. So they were kind of had their hands tied, but like, I don't know, like it's a lot. And Houston, like you got, you got Victor Oladipo and like a bunch of picks. Like, are you happy if you're in Houston? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm happy because as soon as some guy comes on, especially a leader, not just some guy, this is the leader, the all-star, the face franchise tag of my organization says that he wants out. As soon as that happens, you got to cut loose. You got to get rid of him because that would be like going to work and you know, your, bro your boss is just like, I don't want to be here today. Anyways, nobody else, it's just a trickle down thing. So I'm happy if I'm Houston, but the Nets on the other hand, wow, talk about just a, PR nightmare. You got Kyrie who goes in and out of times of whether or not he wants to play in the NBA or not or basketball at all. You got um, uh, now you got James Harden who very well could be in one of the five boroughs of New York uh, at some strip club. So you got to handle that and hopefully he has a mask on. A lot to go and juggle and I respect the people in Brooklyn that are taking care of all of this. But uh, and then like imagine being the person who's got to like write down all these trades because like some people are going to Indy some people are going like what if you mess up who are the poor people that have to really do all this it's like a like a Rubik's Cube you know like it seems so confusing. I have it here I'm gonna read it off this is confusing okay, okay. Rockets they get Victor Oladipo Dante Exum Rodians Karuks definitely said that name wrong three Brooklyn first rounders and four Brooklyn first round swaps the Nets get James Harden the Pacers get Karis LeVert and a second rounder, and the Cavs get Jaron Allen and Torian Prince. So, like, I don't get where the Cavs come from. But, like, it, it, it's a lot. But but you hit it on the head. Like, Kyrie, Harden, and KD, they all have, like, their different baggage things. I get that, like, seems like Kyrie and KD really get along, and obviously KD and Harden have gotten along in the past, but I just don't, like... If I was the Nets, I would do it. I would just be like, I'm down. But doesn't it just feel like something's going to go wrong? Yes, 100%. <laughs> I think, honestly, Stephen A said it today, and my teammates were like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But he was like, Kyrie should retire. And I'm like, I could see Kyrie making that kind of public statement just based on his wokeness, I think, you know? And I love Kyrie, don't get me wrong. But he's got this whole persona of being like the woke guy and third eye, him and Joe Rogan, I don't know, see things differently. and. I don't need society and all the norms of trying to get to the top and competition, all this stuff. And I'll just leave, I'll just be done. Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel like he, he feels like he's always like being used or something like that. And I look, he's probably right in some, you know, aspects, but I could see him just saying, see ya. Yeah. James and Kevin have fun, but I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think all parties are pretty happy. And I think now you got to look at, is this going to add on to the LeBron GOAT discussion considering now there's another super team being formed solely to try to take down LeBron? I don't know. If the, if the Nets somehow get to the finals and this doesn't explode and then LeBron beats them, then like, yes, LeBron is like, that's insane. Because because that means that those three guys were able to put it together and actually make miles. Now, I am like have questions around that. I'm, I'm curious, like, if there's some world where – the Nets offered Kyrie Irving for James Harden. They were like, hey, we got Harden and KD and Levert, and like we keep Levert and we got like a bunch of other guys. Like, I, well, I love Kyrie also, but I probably like, I, I'm interested by that. Yeah, I'm surprised that wasn't actually just part of the deal considering all the stuff that has happened, you know, over the past like week with Kyrie not showing up, not playing, saying he just doesn't want to, doesn't feel like playing today or whatever. Um, I was surprised that wasn't kind of thrown in there, but, um, you know, Nets get it done and they're obviously playing the short game and trying to beat LeBron. LeBron beats Brooklyn, because like you said, if they get to the finals, which uh, we'll see, 
if Brooklyn gets to the finals, plays the Lakers, Lakers win, LeBron GOAT discussion over. I feel like we just constantly make up new standards for him that he has to meet. But yeah, honestly, I don't think there's even a discussion after that. So I think about it like if all three guys are healthy, I don't like who's like the Heat are really tough. Like is Giannis taking down those three guys? Like absolutely not. That'd be weird. But the, the one weird part is is I, I was following this stuff all day and everything was saying that Harden was going to get traded to the Sixers for Ben Simmons and a million other things. And the Sixers yeah. were trying to hold on to Tyrese Maxey. And that was like in our text, like our overtime text, like that was a foregone conclusion. It seemed like, like, oh, he's going to the Sixers. And now he doesn't. And now it's like Ben Simmons and the NB thing is just weirder. Like it just keeps getting weirder. Like I feel like at this point, even if they have to trade, like find a way to trade Ben Simmons. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think you eventually have to, but I don't know. My biggest thing is Ben Simmons, if he shoots 35%, he honestly, like just from, from three and shoots whatever he does from the floor, if he can get yeah. to a point where he's shooting 35 plus from three, Ben Simmons could be at the end of the day, the greatest player of all time. I honestly <laughs> think so. And I don't think no, I, I get it out of the question still. Wait, so, so the Harden thing, it still blows my mind. It seems like he's 30 pounds overweight. I don't know if you've seen him recently. And he's been averaging Don't 25. Fat shame him. Okay. I'm not. Don't I'm not. Him. I'm not. Also, you're insane for just saying that Ben. I don't know how I could let it go that you just thought Ben Simmons could be the GOAT. The guy is like not even a top 15 player right now. And you just jumped to GOAT. I said, um, yeah, but okay. Once again, same with Giannis. They're very similar in terms of just length and athleticism. If they if they develop a jumper outside three point over thirty five percent, it could be dangerous. Like I'm talking, I think a lot of people would agree with me. No, nope, I don't think anyone would agree with you. I, I think I have to ignore that statement. It's so wild. OT is everywhere, fam. I'm talking worldwide. So rep your city with the OT city tees. You see, I'm holding down New York. Yeah, you know that's right. And don't forget to subscribe over here and check out more fire videos over here. You know what it is. It's big. Oh.